When I made a comment in a previous video that despite not being able to sing, Farmer Fran was auditioning for Dunning-Kruger the Musical, I had a few people ask me what the Dunning-Kruger effect was or to break it down for them. Which ironically is a behavior that is the antithesis of the Dunning-Kruger effect. The Dunning-Kruger effect refers to a paper that was published in 1999 by Justin Dunning and David Kruger. They had undergrads take quizzes on humor, grammar, and logic. Then after they completed their test, they asked them two questions. One was how many questions on the quiz they thought they got right. And the second question was how they thought they did in comparison to to the other quiz takers. The people who did the worst on the test both grossly overestimated how many questions they got right and how well they did in comparison to everybody else. Something along the lines of people in like the bottom 15th percentile thinking they were in the top 60th percentile, showing that the more unknowledgeable or unskilled somebody is, the more confident they are in their abilities. And that's the Dunning-Kruger effect. The more ignorant or unskilled you are, the more weight you put in your own knowledge, expertise, or skills. It's often joked that stupid people have no way of knowing they're stupid because they're too stupid to know they're stupid. Like Donald Trump thinking he's a business genius after bankrupting six companies. And then Dave Ramsey thinking he's a financial genius and then telling people they can't afford a house because they bought Starbucks one time. Or any libertarian who's ever talked about the economy. But it doesn't necessarily tie to intelligence. You can still be highly intelligent and suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect. For example, you could be a rocket scientist who doesn't happen to be very athletic but still believes you're better at basketball than you actually are. And this is truly just a reality of human nature in general. Like, for example, you think you're a better than average driver. Yeah, you. Want to know how I know you think that? Because 90% of people think they're a better than average driver. But the reality is that 90% of people can't be better than average drivers. Only 49% of people can be, and you're probably not one of them. Or you, you probably think you're better at sex than most, because 76% of people do. And since only 49% of us can be better than average, there's a good chance you've disappointed a partner or two. And speaking from experience of somebody in that top 49%, I can tell you, some of y'all need to tone down those Tinder profiles. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I've definitely disappointed one or two. But those are actually examples of illusory superiority, which is just a cognitive bias most people tend to have where we overvalue what we believe are positive attributes about ourselves and underestimate the negative qualities. The Dunning-Kruger effect, on the other hand, is still a form of illusory superiority. It's just a more extreme one. This is where the more unskilled or unknowledgeable you are, the more skilled or knowledgeable you think you are. Even when you're presented with objective, undeniable evidence that you're a dumbass. For example, if you're a mid-tier, average-ass driver and you think that you're, you know, slightly better than average, that's just regular old illusory superiority. But now, say you're a really bad driver, like 2006 Nissan Altima driver bad. But despite being a mid-2000s Nissan Altima driver, like every other Altima driver out there, you think you're better than 90% of all other drivers. That is the Dunning-Kruger effect. In fact, the Nissan Altima happens to be the official car of Dunning-Kruger. And anyway, that is the reason that you'll hear Dunning-Kruger mentioned a lot in reference to conservatives on the topic of everything. Because even though they dropped out of high school after their third year in the ninth grade, they are still convinced that they have more expertise about climate change and viruses than the entire scientific community. And many of them think they know more about the shape of the earth than astronauts and all of NASA and pilots and just people with eyes. It's like when people from Iowa who've never been south of Des Moines are suddenly experts on immigration, despite the closest thing to a migrant they've ever experienced are those damn Asian beetles that look like ladybugs that fill up every corner of the goddamn house every fall. Anyway, that's the Dunning-Kruger effect, and now that you know, you can try to not be done. Ning Kruger. That, that, that was a weak ending. I'm, I'm sorry. Not weak enough for me to come up with another one, though. Bye.